Hi Aries, this is your horoscope for October 2019. Thank you for joining me. My name is Gregory Scott and this is your monthly horoscope. So I'm going to tell you what major things are happening in October and how that's going to affect you, Aries, as you go through the month. So you've got Chiron sitting in your sign of Aries in your first house. So the wounded healer, the thing that's most difficult that can be transformed to become your biggest strength this month is at three degrees in Aries in your first. So the thing where you can really make a turnaround is communication. So all of you Aries out there who are afraid of public speaking or writing or being out in the limelight, this is your month to really change that 180 degrees around. Now on the 3rd of October, Mercury, the communication planet goes into Scorpio and it goes into Scorpio in your eighth house. So when it comes to your relationships with colleagues, you may be a little bit emotional. Try and stick to the facts. I know that's hard when you're really invested in something, but the more you can kind of keep the feelings out of it, the better. On the 4th of October, something happens that will help you with that, okay? Mars, your personal plan of drive and ambition, goes into Libra, and Mars hates being in Libra, okay? Mars rules Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, and here it's in the sign opposite to Aries, 180 degrees away from the seventh house of the zodiac, Libra, and Mars is forced to compromise when it's in Libra. So that immediately makes you more likable and less likely to dig in your heels and to make problems for other people. So we're focusing on personal healing, speaking up for yourself, sticking to the facts and succeeding in work. So that's what's happening so far at the beginning of October. On the 8th of October, Venus moves into Scorpio. On the 9th, rather, on the 9th of October, Venus moves into Scorpio. And that joins Mercury in your 8th house. So now you really want to create something where you don't have to censor yourself. So you do have to censor yourself when it comes to communicating your emotions at work. But find a way of letting out the emotions however you do it. So either you're creative or you work with people one to one or you talk to people or you go kickboxing or you go to the gym to get that emotional energy off your chest. You've got to find an outlet. Okay. So connect with something, exercise, something that really allows you to get rid of your feelings because there's a lot of stuff going on and you have to bite your tongue when you're in the office. So that has to go somewhere, right? And if you don't get it out, it kind of festers inside of you. So that continues. On the 13th of October, we have the full moon. And this is your full moon. It's a full moon in Aries. It's the hunter's moon. It happens in your first house. So on the 13th of October, you're going to feel amazing. You're going to be on top of your game. So when it comes to work, the 12th, 13th and 14th of October, this is the time when you can assert yourself the most and ask for questions or ask for promotions, ask for different jobs, ask for more money, ask for whatever it is you want. Um, and if you're a self-employed Aries, this is the time to really heal that inability to communicate and to go very far. Okay, so you'll be able to make incredible progress in your career, in your working life. So that's what this month is most useful to you. That is what is most useful to you Aries in terms of your houses, work, personal development, communication. Okay. So that continues until the 23rd of October when the sun moves into Scorpio and the sun moves into Scorpio and also goes into your eighth house. So again, now you're putting your all into your job, especially if you're employed. And you really want to be doing something that you care about. Ironically, it's when you do something independently that comes from you. That's when you can create real financial stability for yourself. 
But if you work for other people, this is when you can really kind of make that impression or really show who you are or make that great first impression that you want to make. It's really all about work and other people for you this month. On the 28th, we have the new moon in Scorpio and your midheaven, your transiting midheaven is sitting between the moon and the sun. I'll make separate videos on the full moon and on the um, new moon just to give you more details of what it's about. But the new moon, I'm sorry, the full moon in Aries happens in your first house and the new moon in Scorpio happens in your eighth house of you in connection with other people, institutions, okay? So you really feel a certain way about where you should be in your working life. And if it's not that way, you're gonna be like, okay, something needs to change. And that is really what this month empowers you with, is standing up for yourself, asserting yourself, saying this job is beneath me, I have more skills, I wanna be paid for these extra skills. I do overtime that I don't get paid for. I want to get paid for that overtime. I have been here seven years. I've never had a promotion. I think it's time for a promotion. All of those kind of things you're able to do and the astrology really supports you in that. And again, that's why keep your feelings out of it. You're, you're looking at your skill set and then your pay and you're realizing that it doesn't make sense. So you go to the people in charge and you right the wrong. So that's what I get for you in October. It's a really good month for Aries work-wise and you can really make a lot of progress. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Hit the subscribe button if you like this video and share it online. And um, that's it. Yeah, in my personal readings, I can answer any of your questions. So if you would like certain things answered like your life purpose or vocational aptitudes then book a session with me via gregoryscott.com and i can have a look at your birth chart okay have a wonderful october and i'll speak to you next month